you have arrived at your spot and you want to set up. First thing to do is position the caravan where it's suitable. So you want to drive in where on the driver's side there's about a meter so you can access all the different compartments and on the passenger side you want about caravans width again just so you can open the awning. So once you find a spot that's suitable and you've backed in basically as, as uh, close as you can you'll need to level it. First you level it side to side with wheel ramps so we'll show you how to do that now. Let's have a look around the back. To level it side to side, which is the first thing you're going to do with a vehicle attached, is you want to put a spirit level on the back bumper. This is a much larger one than you'll have in there, uh, but for this example that'll do. You attach that and you drive the caravan up on the ramps on whichever side is lower, till you end up with a bubble in between the two lines. So because this is a dual axle, these are special ramps. They separate out so you can put it between the middle wheel. And then we roll the car forward with someone watching this side. They can call out to you when to stop. They can have a look at the spirit level at the back. Uh, and if you need to go up a bit higher, when, the, when you move forward, you attach that and you go a little bit further. And then you chock it in when you're done. So let's show you how that's done. So you want to go about this far up if you need to go further and you need to attach the other block. You go about this far on the ramp so you can fit this piece in. Check your spirit level. If you need to go a bit higher, you can with that extra piece in there. So you've checked the spirit level at the back. You're happy with what level it's on. Now you put these chocks in. It's got lines at the bottom. So you put those lines down. And that'll prevent it from going back. Now come around the front. So this is very, very important. Once you, before you detach from the car, you wanna make sure that even though you're chocked in, you wanna make sure the handbrake is on. The handbrake is here. Grab this lever, you tilt it forward. So the tooth grabs under these teeth, the, the, the arm grabs under these teeth here. And you simply just push it all the way back. So it's nice and tight. Now the handbrake is on, the caravan won't go anywhere. But now we can put the jockey wheel in to bring the caravan, take the load off the car so we can move the car away. Now undo the handle. Take a bit of the load off, the handbrake's on, the wheels are chocked, you got level side to side. To level it front to back, we detach the car. So you want to raise it until you take the load off the caravan. You know the load is off because you can twist this handle, it won't turn very easily with the load on it. That's the easiest spot there. Now, you, now that you've taken the load off, you've got the right point, you want to disconnect the cable and the chain. And don't forget to unclip the breakaway cable. So now you've freed up the car, you just got to detach it. To do that, there's a lock here hang off the bottom of the pin which secures the caravan to your car. You want to undo that. You just twist it like a screw with a key all the way until that side flops down and then you can take it out and put it to the side for the moment. As you can see the car moves forward a little bit. There's always a little bit of slack in the handbrake and that's what made it a little bit harder to pull this pin up because the car's downhill too, but typically you'll be on a flat so it won't be so difficult. Now you can simply just drive the car away. Do your final checks, make sure, make sure this handbrake is on. Jockey wheel is definitely in and secure. You've got the chocks in, nothing's attached to the car and just drive it forward about a metre or so. Now that the car is detached, you can raise or lower the front to level it. Once you're happy with the level of the caravan, you want to lower these legs and stabilize and make it really firm so it doesn't shake at night while you're sleeping. To do that, 
you pull on this red bracket here while you hold the leg that releases it and you can just swing it straight down. You lock it in at the bottom and use this bar to wind it down. Why do it up too hard because we're on the grass here but you want to do it quite firm, do all four corners, come back around, firm it up a little bit more, you don't need to go crazy. On this you just want to take a little bit of the load on each corner just to stabilise the van so it doesn't move around at night when you're walking around. So now that you've unhitched, you don't want anyone taking the trailer or on your way, so you, this pin is a security lock as well. You put the pin straight back in the hole, you take the lock back, you put it back where you, where you took it out of when you unhitched, simply twist it, line it up with a pin and keep screwing in until it bottoms out. And you can take the key out and no one can take that pin out which means they can't hitch up, means you're safe.